Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create an admin panel in Laravel really easily using a package called Voyager. So this is the admin panel that we are going to create in this tutorial and I will show you everything step by step. So in this admin panel, you will get everything to make a group like edit, update, delete or you can even make a relationship, everything easily using a tool called menu builder over here you can see you can create a database and every other menu from the admin panel without any coding so i'll show you everything step by step from the very beginning so let's get started first of all i'll go and create a face laravel project so let's just open a command prompt over here and let's go and create a laravel project so we'll say here laravel new let's our project name will be lara hoyager just lara hoyager and let's just press enter so it will just create a paste laravel project for us so here you can see that the project creation is complete so let's go to the project directory let's say as cd lara underscore voyager press enter and let's run the project php artisan serve so right now let's go back to our browser and let's just say this over here press enter so here you can see this is our freshly created Laravel project. So right now we are going to install the package called Voyager in our Laravel project. So for this, uh, here you can see this is the GitHub link in order to install Voyager in our Laravel project. So I will give this link in the description. Just check it out. And here if you just go down, uh, here you can see Voyager, the missing Laravel admin panel. Then let me just go down and over here you can go to the uh, Voyager documentation. But we'll just go down. And here you can see, uh, this is the command we need to write in order to install Voyager in our Laravel project. So right now, if your Laravel version is 8 or 9, then you can just run this command. But if your Laravel version is 6 or 7, then just go to this link. But if your Laravel version is 10, uh, which is the current version, then you need to run this command. So this command and this command is basically the same, but uh, here you can see dev 1.6 laravel version 10 because uh, they are still developing the Voyager package for the laravel version 10 so if your laravel version is 10 then use this command okay so since my laravel version is 10 so i am going to use this command but if your laravel version is 8 or 9 then use this command okay so i am going to copy this command since my laravel version is 10 so I'll copy this command, then we'll go to our uh, project directory. So let me just go to the project directory and my project does this one, Lara Voyager. So let's go inside and let's just open another command from here. Let's zoom in and here we're going to paste the command, which is composer require tcg slash Voyager dev 1.6 Laravel 10 and press enter. So it will download the required file for the Voyager package. So it may take like two minutes to install and there you can see it is done. So after this command we need to set up our database. Uh, so right now let me just open it using subline text. Uh, let me just uh, click file then open folder. The project name was lara underscore voyager this one. So in the project we just directly go to the .env file. And here you can see by default the database name is Lara Voyager. So we'll just copy it and we'll go to our XAM. This my admin and we'll create a database over here. So here we we'll click new, then give the database name which is Lara underscore Voyager, then click create. And there you can see a table is created. So after this, it is saying us that we need to update the website URL, which is app URL. So what you need to do is that we'll just copy this control C and we'll go to our again dot in file and here you can see app URL. So we'll remove this and paste it over here. And then you can see a slash over here. Make sure to remove the slash. Otherwise the in is on show popals. Okay. Do not keep any slash at the end. Then save this. And after that, what we need to do is that we need to run this command PSP artisan voyager install. So let me copy this, go to the command prompt again and paste the command, then press enter. And there you can see it created some table in our project and it also linked our public folder with the 
storage folder and also if you go to the uh, vendor tcg voyager publishable config you will see voyager.php okay so we are done with the command and here if you run this command it will also create some dummy data in the database table okay so this command creates some table uh, in the database so let me just show you uh, right now if i now just refresh over here uh, let me just go to the database mara voyager and there you can see it created some table over here automatically so right now what we need to do is that we need to create a admin user for him or her to log in and right now if you go down here you can see a command p tradition voyager admin your email.com create so it will create a admin user so right now let me just copy this command control c then go back to the command prompt again paste the command and here, here you can see that uh, the user will be admin and here let me just change the email address let's say email address will be admin at the end of gmail.com then press enter and also press enter it will ask for a admin name so let's say the name will be admin then it will ask for a password let's keep the password on two three four five six seven eight then press enter then you need to confirm your password we'll write again on two three four five six seven eight and enter and there you can see admin is created so right now uh, in order to go to the admin dashboard what we need to do is that we need to give slash admin over here so if i now just give slash admin then press enter there you can see it is asking us to log in so here we are going to say admin at that of gmail.com and give the password all two three four five six seven eight then click login so this is the admin dashboard you will see and right now if you click user there you can see user admin at that of gmail.com and if i click roles you can add a user and give him a specific access to the admin panel and right now i'm going to show you the most important thing and that is the tools part so uh, we will click tools and there you can see database option so from here you can create your own database without any coding so now just click database and here you can see create new table if we click over here and create new table then here you can see table name we give a table name let's say our table name will be product uh, let's keep the p smaller and create model for this we we'll pick this one and here we need to add our database table column so we'll click over here add new column and let's say it will be a uh, title let's say title will be further this one further and let's just say over here 256 again let's say over here description for description type will be let's say the same thing you can add long text or further whatever you prefer let's just say with stay in further and then add on one column if this one will be for let's say image our product image let's again choose just further again and let's say over here 256 if you want uh, you can make it not now whatever you prefer and here you can see add timestamps so if you now click over here you can see it created created ad and updated ad and on the below right corner you will see create new table so right now if you now click over here create new table it's loading and you will see a error like this exception the old name color option is not supported because uh, if you are using laravel 6 7 8 or 9 you will not get this error but uh, if you are using laravel 10 you will see this error because Voyager for Laravel 10 is still in develop, so this is a bug that they did not fix. But uh, there is a way to fix this bug, and which I just uh, found over here. If you are facing this error, then what you need to do is that really simple. Uh, you just need to change a little bit of code uh, in the Voyager. So for in what you have to do is that uh, you need to go to the vendor drop line dpl source schema and column.php to this specific file location so let us just change it so let me just go to the code and here you can see the vendor folder click vendor then uh this one drop line 
and after top line you need to go to dbal and after dbal you need to go to okay let me just check you need to go to uh, source and i'll also give this link in the description uh, so don't worry i'll give this link uh, so that you can just copy the code from here directly easily so after dbl we need to go to source schema and then column.php so we'll go to over here drop right in dbl source then schema over here schema and inside schema we should have column.php this one and here we need to go down and we need to find a function uh, which is called set options okay let me just copy this and search it over here control a control v uh which is uh, this one so you can find this code at line 83 around at line 83 so whatever code we have uh, in this function we'll just remove it okay we'll just remove it then go back to our browser so we'll remove this and we'll just copy this code from here control c and then uh, we'll just paste it over here control p and save it so once you save it uh, you will not get any error over here so right now let's just click create new table again and there you go it is created and here is the product table over here and here you can see at this brand to the table so we'll click over here and here uh, you can see model name so in laravel 8 9 or 10 the model is in the model folder so after this in the model name we need to add models backslash product like this and rest of them can stay the same but uh, let's just say the order of column will be title and description over here description and it will be let's say descending uh, you can add pagination but we we'll keep it like this and one more thing that we need to do is that we need to run one more command uh, in order to create the product model it do not uh, create a model for product by default so here we are going to say php artisan make model it will be product and that's all so after creating the model uh, what one more thing you should do is uh, we'll go to our project again and we'll go to app then models then product.php and over here we're going to say public dollar table equal to to single version we say over here product so sometimes uh, if we do not write this code you may face some issue so we'll just write this code over here and after this here and you can see title description image so what you should do is that uh, you can add any validation rule over here in the options details for title description and the image and there you can see the, that there is a few more option over here for that you want to let the user delete the title description or image so for title let's say it will be text that's fine and for description we want the let's say text area and for image we want a image field so here you can see image option and let me just show you the validation rule so in order to get the validation rule uh, you can just go to the voyagerdogs.tapedojo.com i'll also give this link in the description and here you will find the validation rule somewhere over here you can also just take a search it over here let's say over here voyager validation and click over here and if you go down uh, there you can see the validation rules over here so let me just copy one of them Control c and let's go to our project over here and let's remove the second bracket paste the code so here you can see the max number of input will be over here for title it will be 12 and for description let's make it uh, 1200 and for image let's just make it required like this so after this uh, here you can even add a relationship but we'll keep it like this and we'll now click on submit button and there you can see 
the bid is created and we have the product option over here if you click on product there you can see uh there is no data available and here you get the add new option add new product if you click on add new there you can see title a description text area field and the image field so let's say over here uh product one let's say this is product let me just copy it and paste it multiple times like this and let's choose the image from here let's choose this image click open and click save and there you can see the product is stored over here there's edit delete and view option if i click view it will show us like this and if i click edit we'll be able to edit the product we can add a few more extra field over here and there you can see it is done and over here if you want to add an icon before the product the part you can do is that go to inside the tools then click menu builder then over here you can see admin and builder option if you want to click on the builder you can see the product so just click over here edit and here you can see Voyager font class the menu item use Voyager font class so if you now click on this it will open in another tab and from here you can choose any icon so let me just choose this icon so copy it and we'll just paste it over here and then click update and there you can see the icon before the product if you do not see any icon just refresh the page and let's say you want the uh, product over here just after the media then what you can do is that over here you can just drag the product from here to here like this and then just refresh the page and there you can see product is now after the media option so this is how you can use your Voyager admin panel you can do a lot of things really easily using this admin panel and uh, in the future I may uh, make a complete tutorial for Voyager admin panel but there are a lot of admin panel package for Laravel that you can try uh, which you are probably see on the screen you can try them out check them out whether you like it or not so thank you very much for watching if you have any question let me know in the comment section and make sure to subscribe i really appreciate that and i do hope to see you in the future tutorials